He's the man. He's the one. I love you just the way you are. It's no biggie. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kakasa, the news lover of the United States of America. I'm gonna teach you one, two, three things. One, like a. <laughs> Two, praka. Wait, what? Are these English words, sir? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked. I, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked. Hey. Can I get back to my fucking video? I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, Number I didn't... two, placa, baby. Placa one, two, placa three, four. Any kind of placa will do if you got one more. See what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I guess I kind of get what you mean. I totally get what you mean, is what I meant to say. It's like you don't even fucking care that I'm trying to make a video, Devin. It's like you don't even I do, give it. I do care. I know this is really important. I know it's for your life. I, I won't... How am I going to get into college? I won't interrupt. I won't interrupt Thank anymore. Thank you. Jesus if fucking... If I hear God. one more fucking peep out of you, Devin. <laughs> hey. I swear to God. Hey, listen, man. And this is getting you know, really annoying. You know what? I'm here... I'm here to help you become the man you've always wanted to be. Not the one that you saw on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Can I finish my video? Go ahead and finish your video. I'm sorry. Number three, baby. Panunu on ice. This February, come see it twice. Gonna punch your face like Ray Rice. Gonna eat your chicken like. Are you a rapper? I'm sorry. I... <laughs> I'm so sorry. This isn't even funny. I don't know why you're fucking laughing. I'm... You're a goddamn asshole, is what you are. Fuck you! I'll. I'm never gonna. Alright. I'm done. Get the fuck out of here. Man. I'm leaving forever. I'm leaving forever. You're for... not cool. I'm leaving forever. I'm long I'm long boarding out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I'm Devin Cardellino. This is uh Miles Howell and welcome to Midnight Longboarding. What's up? My name is uh Miles. You can ca you can catch me at the local uh uh, local straw factory, call me uh, Hordo. And uh, all my friends, they know me by my street name, Lil Wheelman. And I'm gonna show you a little trick I learned out in these streets. Yo, homie, homie Cran, homie Cran, Kansas, Kansas City. This one's called the Pop Shit. That wasn't the one. Hang on. Sorry. How, how do I stop? Oh, oh God! Devin, how do I stop? Oh Devin. no! You want you want to go to Swenson's? I never thought that you'd ask. Oh, is this the bone grow? This is Dondo Carandas. Okay. He's making making headlines with his new product, Fock. Fock. No Fock. Devin, what are the risk factors involved with driving with a light shining in your face? Um, no babes. Oh, no. Ah! Oh. <laughs> are there any babes now? Oh, there's one. How about now? Babe Ruth. He's living his life right there. Right right at the end of the road there. I can right. see him. Yeah, he's living. There he is. Babe, babe Ruth. Babe. Babe. Get out, babe, get out oh. of the road. Oh, that's a tree. Oh, never mind. So, okay. So, welcome everyone to... Episode three of Thaumatrope. Got a nice little boogie in there. Mmm, that was good. No, welcome to uh, episode three of Thaumatrope Productions Behind the Scenes. That's it, that's the whole video. Not really. Care to elaborate? Uh, t ah! <laughs> and uh, today we're working on um, going to Swenson's, as per usual. All right, folks, here's a little game show called What's on Devin's Floor? That is a scary game show. We got a piece of paper. What's what it going to say? Actually, what is it? It's a timesheet. What's it say? S September, Monday, 8.30 to 11.30. Monday, 1.15 to 3.15. 3 what the fuck? I don't even know what that is. That's your alibi. Don't tell anyone. Who's this? Um, why you, Why you not tell me you've been hanging out with Lilo, these? Lilo and bitch. You... You've been hanging out with bitches? Not not ones that I like. Look what we got here, folks. We got a we got a little a Swens. 
Um, un menu de Swenson, baby. This seems the Samsonares. Los Samsonares. <laughs> okay, so he does. What do we got here, folks? Los Samsonares. What do we got? Do you know what you're getting, Big Cracker? I think I'm gonna just get a uh, a galley boy with some fries. Okay. I okay. Think that's all I need, and I might just get a water to drink to save cash. Who the fuck do you think you are? I'm a man who who lives his life without living. Okay. I'm a man who lives his life without dreaming. Did you actually want that? Wait, what do you mean? Living your life without dreaming? Oh yeah. I mean, it's a it's a medical disorder, but also yes. Here's a new opera song. Rami, 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 So how do you feel about, uh, how do you feel, let me ask you, how do you feel about, uh, clowns? The mm, clown, the clown Topical. Topical. I like it. You see, Devin, I think it's a sham. A sham or a shame? I think it's both. Do you, do you think... What, what, I gotta, I gotta ask you, what would you do if you saw a clown? If I saw a clown, uh, what context are we talking about? I mean, like, okay, so you're, you're out, middle of the night, mm -hmm. uh, you just came, you just came back from a, a party where you... What were we doing at this party? Uh, you fell in love. It's not relevant to the story, but you fell in love at the party. And that's just to give you a little bit of backstory. All right. That's just to give you a little bit of backstory. That's really cool. You fell in love at the party. Okay. And... You're on your way. You're walking home from the party. You're you're drunk. Oh, you're drunk right. from from too much drunk. Too much. Lo you're drunk love. on love. Love. Your love punch. Drunk love. Was I, I punched? I used to be love drunk, but now I'm hung hung over. Was I punched? You were punched by a big guy. Okay. A big. That's guy, what I liked. A hear. big guy that didn't particularly like you. Oh. He didn't particularly enjoy your company. Okay. Um. So oh, there's a lot of. Oh my god! What the fuck is going oh, on? Homecoming. Oh my damn. Homecoming. Oh my goodness. Oh my damn. Do you want Swenson's? Do you want Swenson's? There's uh, a cop over there. Oh, no, that's not a cop. That's a boy with the headlights. There's that a spot right over here. All right, let's do it. Let's dinky dream it. All right, so I'm going to close the window. That's good. Good call. So, good call. What were we talking about? Okay, so okay, so to continue the, the scenario from earlier. Okay. You were at a party, a, uh, a, a fun party. Good party. At the party, you fell in love. You fell in love at the party. Like I said, it has nothing to do with it. It's just to give you some backstory. Yeah. So on your way home from the party, you, 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 <clears throat> you're drunk. Yeah. You're really drunk. Totally hammered. Totally, totally hammered, but shit not, not from alcohol, from love. From love. You're, you've been hammered by love. And I was punched. You were also punched. You were also punched in the face by love. So you're, you're walking home because you're drunk on love. That's yeah. why you're walking yep, home. Yep. So, on your walk home, you come face to face with a fucking clown. What do you do? How do you handle the situation? Um, the clown is six six, <clears throat> si no seven foot seven feet tall, skinny as a twig, skinny as skinny as uh, my dad when he hasn't eaten in three weeks. <laughs> okay, all he, right. He's all super right. skinny, seven feet tall, and he's carrying a huge, huge. A huge uh, billy club. <laughs> okay. Uh, All right. And he's walking towards you. You're, fa you're not face to face yet, but you see him on one side of the street. What do you do? I'm gonna. How do you handle the situation? Right off the bat, I'm just gonna say thanks for having me here. Oh, you're wa you're welcome. Of I course. Really, uh, it's, I really. It's love like it's like Jerry Seinfeld's com comedians in cars getting coffee. This is. Uh, oh, I was thinking more like clown talk. This is well. This is clown talk in cars getting Swensons. Yeah. So, clown talk. Anyways, I see this clown across the street. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> First thing I'm probably gonna do, probably gonna probably gonna ask him, what's the weather? That's that's the first thing you're gonna say to him. What's the weather, Chappy? <laughs> Ch okay. Yeah, I'm gonna call him Chappy. I, I mean, if he, if he likes that movie. He'll be he'll be on board. If he doesn't no, like that no, movie, you're done for. I'm fucking you're, you're gone. Fucked. I'm out of there. I'm See, out of the that, park. But that's what I would argue that that's not a good approach because what if he doesn't like the movie Chappie? Maybe you should choose a different film. Okay. Uh, right, how, so, how's it going? Maybe I bet he would like Wally. Hey, he's how's it going, Wally? How's it going, Wally? Wally the clown. And, okay, and then that works on two levels. Maybe he likes Wally, and maybe his name is Wally. That's true. How's it going, Wally? And then he'll go. He knows my name. <laughs> I, 
in my opinion, these clowns, these clowns that are out and about terrorizing our children, terrorizing our women, terrorizing our terror um, wombats. I didn't. The band. Um, they, they they only are doing this because they need they want love. <clears throat> they want just as much love as an as a human being. Because clowns are people too. In all honesty, I think I've never I've never been afraid of clowns. Never for my, real. Never in my life. I fucking I, hate clowns. Have I ever been? Everything afraid I of said clowns. was a lie. I think clowns are shit. I I don't my, I don't mind clowns. I've never been afraid of clowns. So like I, the concept, like when I see this stuff on the news about the clowns scaring people, that scares me. Like that, yeah. that's scary to me. So I don't know. Does that like not phase you really, or is it like, uh, like it? It would freak me out. Okay, like <clears throat> I guess if I was if I saw a clown and like I saw their face and like saw that they were just like a fucking guy dressed as a clown, it wouldn't really scare me. Mm -hmm. But like if it, like if we were sitting in this car right right here, it's like it's, it's dark out, and like a clown was in those bushes over there and just came out and was like. Here I come. I'd be scared. Yeah. yeah. That would scare me. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess not so much because we're in a public place. Because then they would like really. run. I don't know. But like, what if you were alone? Yeah, if I was alone and I saw a clown walking around my house, I'd be in a little bit of a sticky situation. Yeah, I, I, I would, agree. I'd I would be have scared. To, I would have to call somebody. Who would you call? Not clown, the goat. Not clown the ghost, busters? Clown, clown, clown fuckers. The clown is that, does Bill Murray lead that team too? Yep, yep. Bill Murray and uh, and uh, anthropomorph anthrop anthropomorphic Nord Nordic. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I was talking about uh, Adam Sandler's in there, and uh, the Asian guy from MythBusters. He's in there. There's an Asian guy in MythBusters. Yeah, Corundo. Grant Imahara. <laughs> I've never seen that guy before. Oh, oh. Well, he's he's there. He's in that team. Okay. And uh, anyways. They fuck them. They fuck the clowns. They 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 just take their noses. And they just shove them right in there. Damn. You ever heard of shoving a clown nose in your asshole? No, but I mean, not until right now. Have you tried it? You're looking at the inventor, right? Here. <laughs> <laughs> that would explain why I've never heard of Hell it. Hell yeah, baby. <laughs> you ever take a pair of clown shoes and just just kind of kind of shove them up your butthole? Do you just take clown apparel and put it up your butt? How much you got up there? You ever heard about like <laughs> taking one of those squirty flowers, fill it with your own cum, <laughs> and then what? Drinking it? The possibilities are endless. You're not wrong. Hey kid. <laughs> hey mom. <laughs> hey hey uh hey Donald. Hey President President Trump. I'm I President Cl Clump. <laughs> <laughs> That's his. That's his cousin, president. who's also running. Okay, but nobody so the knows year about him. the year is 2017. Donald Trump is president. He gets assassinated by the Hamburglar, uh, and now his hamburger. cousin Donald Clump is in office. No, Ronald Clump. Ronald Clump. <laughs> Ronald Clump, and he's and he's, he's so <laughs> glad to be the president of the United Run. Run away from me, kids! <laughs> I'm not worthy of your love. If you're a celebrity. You can walk around naked and wave your penis around in front of. Everybody. When you're a celebrity, you can take your penis, you can <laughs> cut it right in half like you're slicing a hot dog. I'm waiting for the day, you know what I'm waiting for? I'm waiting for the day where the President of the United States is allowed to wear jeans with rips in them. I'm looking for the day, I'm <clears> waiting <throat> for the day where the President of the United States is allowed to address an envelope to his ex-wife and say, no more from you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for the day that, you know, <laughs> no more from you. Why, are all, why do all these trucks have different colored... This is what happens when you live in fucking shithole Ohio. You've got boys... Woo! Nah. Hey man, I got a four wheeler in the back of my tr truck. You got, you've got these boys with their big old pickup trucks, and they've got fucking lights in them, cause you know they, they're. We're in Ohio, so we're like we're just south enough to be fucking country hicks, oh. and we're just north enough to be fucking wee wee wawas. A wee wee wawa? I wouldn't go as far as to call those guys wee wee wawas. That's a little bit, a little bit inconsiderate. There they go. There go the wee wee wawas. I hope I never see those people again because fuck them. Oh my god. They're circle. Oh shit. Oh my god. They're coming back. We're fucking done for. We're fucking done for. Oh jeez, they saw the camera. They they don't want the world to know. I'm gonna hide. Me too. 
Oh, oh. Waiting for the food. All right, so I'm trying to think of another scenario. Uh, it, may, it doesn't have to be clown related. It doesn't have to be anything. Well, you give me a scenario. Okay. So anything. <clears throat> anything. It doesn't have to be clown related. So this is like a what would you do. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so you're, you're in your dorm. Okay. At, at, at college. Okay. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, all of a sudden, the lights turn out. Oh, shit. And the internet goes off. Oh, fuck. And the heating goes off. Oh, no. And your clothes disappear. All of them? Every, Every last thread. Jesus. So then, you're like, what's going on? I was just beating my meat to an episode of Dog with a Blog. <laughs> and I gotta, Which is a very realistic scenario. I was just you, doing that this morning. You gotta get out. You gotta go, because you don't know if there's a man in there. Okay, so are the rest of my roommates <clears throat> in the room with me? Oh, no, they're long dead. They're dead? You go you go out of your room, Jesus. and you see... They're, are they all naked? They're all dead? also naked. Uh, but dead as well. But dead. Oh, naked Jesus. but dead, and their throats are all slashed. Jeez. Um, <clears throat> Do I know the culprit? No. No, you have no idea. For okay. all you know, this could be, uh, you know, ha handy. H handy? Handy Manny. Handy Manny. Handy oh, Manny. <laughs> this might be our. Oh, I think this is our food. It's our cracker. Hey. Hey, how are you? Pretty good. How are you? Oh, I'm surviving out here. Good, good. Thank you. Drinks there for you. Thank you very much. Not a problem. There you go. Thanks. Gotta buckle up Handy for this wild ride. 1992 for you. Columbus sailed the ocean. Hey. hey. Who do you fucking think you are? That's good. Okay. If you say so. Rombie. I, here's what here's what I think about everyone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, do we ever finish the scenario you gave no. me? No. You go out of your room. All your roommates are dead. Okay. All um, of them slash in the throat, naked. Powers off. And uh, <clears throat> suddenly your RA comes in. Oh. Is your RA a man or a woman? His name's Jamar. Jamar comes so, in. He's a woman. No, he's a man. Completely naked, except for one blade of grass taped. Coat to the tip of his penis. <laughs> so it's not even covering it? No, it's just taped on there. Okay. What do you do? So is he the, wait, did, he, did you say is he the one that killed them? You don't know. I don't know. You have no idea. But he's the only one alive in he's, the whole dorm or just in my room? For all you know, could be, could be either. Hmm. <clears throat> but I gotta say, the first thing I would do oh my God. is I would, oh, is so, I would oh, that so looks pretty good. good. I would ask him. <laughs> I'd go up to him and I'd say, Jumar, did you do it? I'd ask him if he did it. Because, in my opinion, that's, you know, I don't want to jump to any conclusions, but if I thought, if I suspected that he killed my entire dorm room, I mean, it's, it's over. It's over already. I'm already plotting how to escape. But I want to make a. I want to make good with him, you know. So I'm going to ask him, "Did you do it?" I'm not going to say you did this, yeah. even though I know he did it. I yeah. know he did it. Okay. So I'm going to say, you know, did you do this? Just to check. And then once he, I'm going to say, Jamar, you look like you need to take a poop. Go into our, go into our bathroom, take take a big poop. <laughs> once he goes in there, I'm out. Now here's a real question. Here's a real good one. Favorite door of the Explorer character? The cow. The cow? Ben Benny? Is that his cousin? name? I think. Benny the Blue Cow. And I hope the creators of Dora the Explorer are aware that that's a, a physical impossibility. I'm gonna eat the tin foil. Do it. Just gotta... Oh no, I dropped a fry. And you know what Greek's my cracker? What? The fact that I still have a whole milkshake to go. Mmm. That's good tin foil. That's the good stuff. I'm getting some galley boy juice. All right, give, give me another scenario. Mm -hmm. So we're walking, you and me, all right, through the middle of the woods. Okay. <clears throat> any woods will do. Any any woods in the world. All right. And uh, the big trees, big pretty big trees, California redwoods to be exact. Okay. And. Uh, you come across a tree that is different from all the other trees in that looks like a big old penis tree. Okay. And on the tip of that penis tree is a blade of grass <laughs> taped down. Taped down on a little So this is a tree. continuation to the other 
You don't know. Scenario? You don't know. Okay. But, on this blade of grass, stands Jamar. Jesus. With another blade of grass taped to his penis. So, and on that blade of grass taped to Jamar's penis, is another Jamar. Another Jamar? <laughs> With another blade of grass taped to his penis. So is he a god? You don't know. <laughs> it reaches down. The what? tree. The tree does. Oh, okay. With one of its big California redwood branches. <clears throat> and it grabs me by the by the cock. <laughs> okay. And, it, and with its other hand, takes a big roll of tape and starts to tape a blade of grass <laughs> to the tip of my penis. Not and I'm bad. screaming. I'm like, Devin, guy, get me out of this evil grasp. What do you do? Oh my god. So I have to say, your, your life is in my hands, basically. I I wouldn't do anything. Because I, I'm Jamar's leader. You knew it all along. Don't you act like, son of a don't bitch. Don't act like you didn't know. You fucking son of a bitch. Did you hear about that new brand of child they came out with just now? What's it called? Par. Is it Golf Kid? <laughs> On par with the best. Okay. Two things I got, two problems I got with that. No, and three. <laughs> I gotta say, those are, those are valid concerns. But my question is, <clears throat> what happened to one? <laughs> if I were a cowboy, I'd never... F you want to swoosh it back now? Let me finish my cowboy story. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, I just didn't know if you wanted to... Listen to me. All right, I'm sorry, go ahead. If I were a cowboy... Okay. I wanna go back home? <laughs> Wait, seriously? So if I were a cowboy, if you were a cowboy, come on, man, you're, you're really making me wait here. Today I'm going to be telling you a ghost story. A ghost story from deep within the woods of Runtol Stiltskin, <laughs> a town in North Korea. In this short story of a spooky variety, involves a vampire finding a bad batch of weed. <laughs> <laughs> this vampire named Timothy was wandering the streets, wandering the streets in search of weed. So, 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 so. So, 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 This is like an Enrique Iglesias music video. But then you have to have Pimple, and he has to go, That wasn't a, that wasn't a good Pimple impression, I'm sorry. Careful, Nikki. I'm filming it. Oh, oh, no, I'm just... <laughs> um, all right, I want to interview you on your thoughts on, um, I want to get your thoughts on Rumpus Rimp. Oh, don't even talk to me about that. That's really offensive. I mean, have me you... and my people. Uh, I don't appreciate you just thinking you can waltz right in and all right, just okay, ask but, me that question. Alright, well, let me then ask you about the... No, uh, no I want to hear I want to hear your thoughts on the stories about the, the rump rubber. Look, I just told you I don't want to no, talk a about different, it. No, that's a different... Care. The rump rubber has been... Go I know what the rump rubber is, and I know... Uh, I, the the rump rubber has been going around recently rubbing people's rumps. I get it. I, I don't like it. Excuse me, uh, George, yeah. do you have any thoughts on the rump rubber? Oh. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't, don't touch if me. I don't want to talk about it. You don't, you don't go on interview. I, I'm interested in your friend, your friend's he's thoughts the, on it. You have the same heritage of me. Get out of here. All right, all right, man. Go, okay. Go interview that. Okay.